The Untouchable True School Sports Empire probably presents something the boxing game has been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, as you can see by the title, and by the way, make sure you guys like and subscribe, but as you guys can see by the title, Oscar De La Hoya, he's trying to get Golden Boy to have a show on the 4th of July. Now, there's many ways to interpret this, and we will be interpreting it. We will be dissecting it piece by piece, brick by brick, as we tend to do here on True School Sports. Because it's interesting stuff. You know, a lot of times in boxing, we hear about Cinco de Mayo. We hear about Mexican Independence Day, all these different holidays. But uh, Fourth of July has never been really a holiday that that, 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 that has been made big, big, big in boxing. And I think it, it doesn't make any sense to me how it hasn't been made big because... America is the home of big time boxing. Whether whether you like it or not, America is the home of big time boxing. Um, everybody wants to make their name in America because there's so many opportunities here to, to, to progress your career and progress your life. Uh, as you know, obviously financially, but as well as your career. So, it's always been interesting to me how none of these promoters have ever have ever attempted to have fights that on the Fourth of July. Now, Oscar De La Hoya has been vocal. He's been speaking about this recently, talking about how. He's looking into. He's exploring the possibility into doing a Fourth of July show, as Fourth of July this year will in fact fall on a Saturday. Um, here's what he said, as you can see right here by the tweet. He said, right, it says right here, "I'm proud to have promoted uh, Cinco de Mayo and, to, and September 16th. Now it's time for uh, Golden Boy Promotions to take over our country's birthday of the Fourth of July." Um, now it's interesting because when I first heard about this. My first reaction was to want to criticize this because Golden Boy Promotions is a primarily uh, it's a company that that has mostly Mexican fighters. Um, they placate to Mexican fighters. You know their biggest dates are on Mexican holidays. It's, it's, everything about Golden Boy is Mexican, and, and, and in my humble opinion, I think they've ignored the American fighter. I think the American fighter that signed to Golden Boy has been extremely devalued. Uh, see Rashidi Ellis as your main example of that. You know, a talented American fighter who just can't seem to get any sort of breaks and, 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 and isn't being moved as quickly as he should be for somebody of his talent level. So I find it funny that they're trying to do the 4th of July uh, takeover, so to speak. Now, I'm going to say this and I'm just going to say it bluntly. If Golden Boy Promotions is going to be doing something on the 4th of July, it better be to honor the day. I better see American fighters on this card. I better see uh, good fights with American fighters doing things to honor our country's birthday. You know, you can't have a show on the 4th of July and make it an extension of Cinco de Mayo and make it another Mexican holiday. You can't. You can't. That that would be utterly disrespectful. So please, Oscar, if you're going to do this, do it right. Give some American fighters opportunities. Let Rashidi Ellis get on the card. If you're going to make Canelo, put Canelo on this card. Put him against Demetrius Andrade because that'd be a good fight. Um, and he's an American fighter as well. You know, do this damn thing right. Do this damn thing right. You know, I'm sure Ryan Garcia will be on the card, even though Ryan Garcia doesn't even like being American. And if he does, he don't show it on Instagram. So it is what it is. But um, just moving, uh, getting further along, get, getting further along into what this article stated, um, is Eric Gomez, who's the president of Golden Boy, he pretty much said that it, it, it's it's an idea, but there's no plans that, that, that are confirmed. So nothing's in writing, nothing's really in motion. It's just a, an idea. But that's how everything starts in life. You know, it starts with you playing that seed in your head known as an idea. Everything started from an idea, you know. Boxing was an idea. Me covering, me, true school sports was an idea at one point. Um, you know, the concept of basketball sneakers was an idea. Everything's an idea. So you, you, got, you, got, you, got, you always got to start somewhere. But um, if Oscar's going to do this and, and, and he's going to attempt to do it, then kudos to him because this is a holiday that, you know, I think even if I, even, even I want to sit here and criticize it, I feel like this is a holiday, at least from what I can remember, that in recent memory has been largely ignored by boxing because the reality is um, most Americans are not home during the 4th of July. They're out at, you know, I'm in South Florida, so most most people on the 4th of July are at the beach or at the park watching fireworks, spending the day with their families. This year, obviously, is going to be a bit different because of COVID-19, the coronavirus. So you'd be led, you'd be, you'd be led to believe that there might be a, 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 some, there might be more people at home than usual this year and it just so happens that the fourth of july tends to fall on a saturday so i think it does present that unique opportunity for not just golden boy promotions but any boxing promoter to put on a a, a good show um 
a show that's gonna produce fireworks and i think that i think that's what that since it's on the 4th of july it only makes sense that 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 that, that every any promoter that gets involved in this holiday will, will try to put on fights that will bring out fireworks you know you can't you can't have a boxing show on a holiday where there's fireworks outside and not and not deliver fireworks in the ring so you, you got to put i mean I, I don't even care if it's c-class fighters put two c-class fighters two b-class fighters with limited defense in there and let them go to war let them have them let them have the arturo Gotti mickey ward uh, extravaganza on the 4th of July. I, I think that's the way you got to go. And I think what that could do for anybody who tries to promote this holiday is, 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 is bring boxing to a wider audience, bring boxing to uh, a different audience. Because, um, you know, not everybody, I mean, as much as people love to go outside in America for the 4th of July, not everybody does go outside. Some, some, some people do stay home with their family. Some people do watch sports on the on 4th, of, 4th of July. Personally, for me, Normally on the fourth of July, I like to watch baseball. So normally I watch the Marlins play. I watch the Marlins play. Normally they lose <laughs> fourth of July, but I watch the Marlins play, and um, and then after the Marlins are done playing, I go outside. I watch some fireworks. Say hi to some family. I mean, my, my fourth of July are are pretty simple, but uh, it it is a good idea. I do like the idea. I'm I, my only concern is that they don't they don't try to make this an extension of Cinco de Mayo by just filling the call with Mexican fighters and and, and making it a, another Mexican holiday. If you're gonna if you're gonna Put on a Fourth of July show. Put it on with Amer- uh, uh, American fighters. You know the, the good American fighters on your in, on your roster. Your Ryan Garcia's, your Rashidi Ellis's, those guys. You know, um, and if you're gonna put if you're gonna put Canelo, because I've heard these rumors of Canelo fighting on the Fourth of July, which is a an American holiday, you better match you better match him up against Demetrius Andre. That you better. There there is no ifs, ands, or buts about it. If Canelo Alvarez is gonna fight the Fourth of July, he needs to be fighting Demetrius Andre, another top American fighter who can who can challenge him. Not Chavez Jr., not Benavidez, not um any of them guys. Demetrius Boo Boo Andre. So that's just my take. My, that's my take on the matter. That's my opinion on the matter. I think it is a great idea. I think this is a great opportunity from Oscar De La Hoya. And go to win promotions and boxing at large to, to really do something new for the fans and, and not, not just boxing fans, but sports fans in general. And I commend him for the idea. I just hope that he can do it right and doesn't make it make a, a mockery of the country in the process of um, putting a fight on the 4th of July. But anyway, that's the news. Oscar De La Hoya hoping to run a Golden Boy boxing show on our country's birthday, the 4th of July. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What would you make of... Oscar De La Hoya putting on a show on the 4th of July. And what are some fights, potential fights, you know, with some American fighters that you would like to see on the 4th of July card? Let me know in the comments down below. Take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just kicking Daniels. Until next time, take care, guys.